Internet on board ship. How do you communicate with your family at your home with your friends being on board? What are the options do you have? Can you use a SIM card on board ship? What SIM card do you have into India? Will it work in a abroad? Will it work on board ship? And in case you want to buy a SIM card abroad, like suppose from America, from Mexico, from any of the country, can you do that? Or what plans do we have on board ship and how much you have to pay to talk at home? All this information I will talk about in this video. Communication, one of the most important thing in this world for now, because without communication, we are nothing. You are watching my video through internet on YouTube. It is also happening because of communication. There is a network. So this is really very important when a person, when a seafarer, when an Indian seafarer basically or any of the seafarer of any of the country goes on board ship, how do we communicate with our family? How do we communicate with our loved ones? How do we communicate with our friends or any of the person you want to communicate or any of the internet you want to access of any site of internet? So how does it happen? Well, guys, when you go on board ship, it is really very important because when a seafarer is going on board ship, they are going for a four to nine months. Now, completely depends how long your contract is going to be, how long your work duration is going to be, depends on the position you are on board ship. Like suppose you go on board ship for a six months. So you are going to be away from your family for six months, right? So in this case, communication is takes very, really, very important. And this is where I get a questions, a lot of questions basically. What are the internet packages on board ship? How we can communicate? Can we buy the SIM card? Well, guys, when I was on board ship on my last contract on a Norwegian Pearl, I bought four different SIM cards. All this information, let's talk about. First of all, let's talk about the internet packages which we have on board ship. Yes, you will be happy when you go on board ship, you can actually talk to your family because internet packages are available there and even the phone call packages also are available which you do through a ocean pay all right so that option is also available in case your family does not have a phone like suppose there is no internet at all wherever you live only a phone calls or landline calls can be done so that also option is available there but most of the cases people has a smartphone so through internet everything is perfect you can make a call on whatsapp on any of the application which you use to make a call so let's talk about the internet packages which we have on board ship well guys see when you go on board ship you enroll yourself and the hr and the personal office will put you in the system so after that you will be able to purchase the packages so the packages which we have is you get five dollar ten dollar twenty dollar and even higher depends on uh, on which on board ship you are and which cruise line you are working for all right so like uh, in a ncl for now it can increase so for now for the five dollar we used to get a 55 minutes so 55 minutes of internet you have and in this you can basically access most of the things like suppose you want to talk at home you can do that and even you have an option to buy a packages in a mb all right so guys you must remember one thing on board ship internet is really very expensive because internet works on board ship through satellite all right so this is why internet is expensive on board but uh, you have an option to communicate that is also important but one of the most important thing and one of the greatest thing happened on a cruise ships after the pandemic is now the cruise line they are providing a free internet basically free internet means you can make a whatsapp calls you can make a messages on a whatsapp free of cost means like you can be connected with your family free of cost without paying any money so in case just communication with your family communication with your friend is the only importance you require then congratulations for now i don't know how long this policy is going to be but as far as i was on board ship we were provided a free internet on board ship free internet means only whatsapp was working and the facebook messenger was working so means i was i was able to make a calls i was able to make a video calls but yes i must say quality was not so great means you will see a lot of time you know internet connection down or you know slow speed this is what you will face sometime but yes you can make messages you can make a voice call very clearly but video calls sometimes they used to lag but you were getting it for free and that is really very important thing it's the greatest thing happened so these are the options you have you can buy an internet on board ship and now let's come to the sim cards See guys, uh, wherever your ship is cruising, wherever your ship is there, when you go 
on the port and even when you are at airport when you are joining the ship by that time also you have an option you can buy a sim cards and literally to buy a sim cards abroad you don't have to produce any id card it's not required at all so you can just literally buy a sim card like you buy a soda bottle in a shop in india this is how it is but in india like suppose you have to submit your id cards you know you have to verify yourself and then you get a sim card but it doesn't happen like that at all you can even order a sim card through amazon any of the e-commerce website when you are abroad so sim card is not really something which requires identity verification so you can buy any of the sim cards so if you guys remember i had a joining into bar montenegro and after that we went to the marshall france and there we had a try dog during that time i had buy a one sim card of a friends which is lebara sim card these are the four different sim cards i have and this is the one libara sim card i still remember in about 17 dollars you get a 50 gb of internet for one month so you can calculate how expensive it is or how cheap it is you can find it out but yes in a 17 dollar approx basically you have to pay a euros and the thing happens here abroad basically you have to take a bundles like here into india you can do a direct recharge of whatever you want to have a package it doesn't happen like that there you have to do a top up into your sim card and after that you have to buy a bundle it's a different procedure but you have option and in about 15 or 17 dollars i still remember uh, we got 50 gb of internet and there i got international calls as well i think 100 calls for free i can literally make calls at any time mostly all over the world means there were about 150 countries we got and india is included in there so you can directly make a call using their sim card from france direct phone calls at home you can do that so this you are going to buy only is completely your choice but i bought it for internet all right after that when our ship came to us after that i bought a sim card of at&t at and a sim card which works into mexico and which works into usa as well but in case you are planning to buy a at&t sim card i highly recommend buy it from us all right because sometime when you buy a at&t sim card from mexico it doesn't work properly into us it does work into mexico but doesn't work properly into us it happened with me maybe i was uh, you know one of the random person it happened with me but yes it happened so at sim card will cost you about 12 dollars and they will give you around of 5 gb or 6 gb of data all right for one month so this is how it is and then after that you can buy a packages you can buy a bundles and you can use the sim card internet is expensive outside i must say after that i bought a sim card of uk3 which is which is called 3 uk sim card basically all right so in this this is a uk sim card and it gives you around uh, i think 20 countries all right so in 20 countries you can use this sim card and i bought this sim card over 22 dollars and they gave me a 10 gb of internet so it was working into usa but it wasn't working into mexico but yes in most of the places where our ship went it was working so this is how you can buy a 3 uk sim card as well which i bought basically you have an option you can buy the sim cards outside and then after that i bought the sim card one of the perfect sim card i would say but one of the expensive sim card as well which is google fi google fi is guys like uh, they gives you you know when you buy a package there basically minimum minimum of i think minimum of 20 dollar of package you have to take there and it goes up to 60 dollars 70 dollars a month but they gives you unlimited of data unlimited means there is like a restriction after that your speed will go down but you will be able to use internet and it works mostly in all the countries so this is the sim card i bought and it was working everywhere just everywhere i would say means we went to bahamas it was working we went to bermuda it was working it like we were into us mexico everywhere everywhere this sim card was working but i highly recommend you buy this sim card only when you can take the expenses on because when you will buy this sim card i highly recommend only take a you know unlimited package which cost you around 70 dollars but in that everything is going to be unlimited you can use how much you want like completely depends on you but if you are taking a you know the 
minimum package of twenty dollar, which gives you a international calls as well. I think so, because I never used that. But yes, into USA calls were free and the messages were free. But you do not get any of the GB of data. So you use a internet, so you have to pay for it. And I used to get a bill of thirty dollar, thirty five dollar per month. All right, and I used to use as low as possible. So guys, these are the options you have of internet. These are the options you have of SIM cards. These are the packages like you have on board ship. And when you go outside, in most of the ports, you get a free Wi-Fi as well. I highly recommend use that. And do not go and buy the SIM card, especially if it's your first contract. Do not spend your money. When you go on board ship, you will come to know how the things goes. But yes, you have the option. You will be connected with your family for sure. That I can ensure you. So guys, these are the things what happens on board ship, and this is how it is. I know expensive internet is there, as compared to India basically, because in India we get in around seven hundred rupees three months of you know unlimited data, and there is a rollover as well into VI. So a lot of things happens into India, which we are getting really in a very cheap cost. But abroad it doesn't happen like that, and we do not have that much of flexibility as well. But yes, these are the options I have, and I bought four different SIM cards abroad, and I think I I had paid more than two hundred dollars into SIM cards only, means including the bills as well. So guys, I hope this video was helpful somewhere, and if there, then please make sure you like this video. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon, do all notification on. So when I make more interesting videos like this, you will get notified automatically. Please tell me to the comment section how was the video. This is Akshay Kumar signing off.